Hello and welcome to this project. Today I will make an easy motorized piston pump which can be used for small air applications. To make this we need a piece of PVC pipe the size of our choice. This will determine the displacement of the pump and one that is about 3 inches long with 4 cm diameter should be alright. A couple of check valves to make the flow going one way. For that I will use those we made in the previous video. One powerful 12 volt motor from a broken drill or something like that. One 12 volt power supply, it should be capable to deliver at least 5 amps like a transformer based car battery charger, but for demonstration purposes I will use a very small one. The use of lead acid batteries is preferable. Some rubber seat from a blown bicycle tube to seal the piston. Super glue, optionally epoxy glue and the necessary tools. To start with the cylinder, glue a pipe cap or plastic plate to the end of the pipe. Note that if you use a plate, it might fail soon. I reinforced the cylinder with plastic corners and now we are going to drill some holes for the tubes and glue them with super glue. For the piston, I will use a small piece of the same pipe. I cut it in the middle and I remove just a slice of it so it will fit inside the cylinder freely yet tightly. I've made an inner cap using a hole saw and now we need an outer ring where I will stick the rubber. I've used a drill as a lathe to machine an outer ring for the piston out of a plastic plate. Two rings are needed to press against rubber so to create a seal. Those will be mounted on the piston using a screw. Now that the piston is ready, it's time to make the rod and the crankshaft.
a drilled piece of plastic secured in the middle was used as the rod mount. The pin of the rod was put into some pieces of pipe that were glued on the piston. Ideally, the diameter of the crankshaft must be a little less than twice the distance to the edge of the cylinder with the piston pushed all the way in. A wooden wheel with a metal stick like this and various holes will do. I'll just glue it to the red plastic piece I've used before a while. After mounting and lubrication to the piston, it's now ready to be tested. That's all, thanks for watching and don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe.